So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this podcast is brought to you by Captain Obvious. You can probably figure out by the tone of my voice what I'm going to be speaking on. Tom Brady, who basically has run the New England economy to levels never seen before in the history of uh, Boston, has decided to leave the New England Patriots after many, many years as a top NFL quarterback of this modern generation for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, this food report says he's making $30 million a year. Never talked to Giselle Bunchen yet, but I think you're going to be looking at 32 to 34. Now, the question is, why would Brady leave New England for another team? Well, obviously the money. He's got about four years left. He can probably uh, get away from the media strain of uh, New England. Uh, he's had been on the outs with uh, Belichick and Kraft for over certain issues. Uh, basically, the treatment of Gronkowski, uh, the decision not to keep certain players, uh, bad decisions on and off the field, deflate gate, different stuff. Now, from a standpoint, from a sports editor perspective, like a sports file perspective, you started with Johnny Unitas, then you had Roger Staubach, then you had Terry Bradshaw, then you had uh, Joe Montana, Troy Aikman, then Tom Brady. In boxing terms, he's the undisputed heavyweight champion of the quarterback division but he represents a legacy of excellence. And even Marino and Elway and Fouts and people like that. Is Tom Brady worth $30 million a year, you're probably asking. In my opinion, yes. He allowed the New England sports economy to grow to a certain level. There was a time, ladies and gentlemen, in the mid-80s when the Patriots made the Super Bowl, nobody gave a shit. Now Tom Brady uh, is the center of the sports universe. People in Canada take up for the Patriots now. People wear Brady jerseys. Uh, David Ortiz in Boston, comparable, but I think Tom Brady is more of an uh, international star with women especially. Women love their Tom Brady. So what will that mean for Tampa Bay? Well, Winston will obviously not be with the team anymore. Will that upset the free agent market? Probably. We already know Jason Witten has left Dallas because Dallas wanted to be a role player in his uh, second comeback season. He went to Vegas for the Raiders. Um Brady wanted to uh, maybe try out the NFC. Tampa Bay is a good fit for him because Tampa Bay is a great football area. The Hurricanes, Florida State, all the college teams, all the successful uh, pro years for Tampa Bay, going back to Doug Williams, going back to the Super Bowl year. Tampa Bay has respect amongst NFC fans for obvious reasons. Who want to want to play in a warm climate? All I can tell you right now is uh, Brady will have to make a small adjustment for the NFC because NFC is more rough and double. AFC is more open south. Brady will lead Tampa Bay to the playoffs in the first year. But to the Super Bowl, time will tell. Who will follow Brady to Tampa Bay? Will Gronkowski come out of retirement? Will uh, Edelman and a few others, Danny Amendola, the, the former teammates, will he decide to sign or go with Tampa Bay because he's there? Who knows? Well, I'm saying I wish Tom Brady the best of luck. He's been running the NFL to levels never seen before, probably since the 83 season when, you know, the USFL was battling and, uh, you know, the NFL was a uh, massive, massive table number. Dallas Cowboys in the NFC, Tampa Bay in the NFC. The big winners, of course, will be the TV network that are showing the NFC because I think the ratings will be through the roof. Again, I'm not a big fan of Tom Brady on a personal level, but professionally, I really respect him because, man, he can he has led teams that nobody expected to win a Super Bowl. And there's been different Patriots teams. And the other three losses, well, they were bad luck. I'm not going to brag up Eli Manning because as a Dallas fan, it goes against my religion. Eli Manning can burn in hell just like Steve Young. Joe Montana, he's an older game guy. He's never a 49ers guy. Anyway, on this uh, uh, different Wednesday across North America. Everybody wash your hands, stay safe. And this will not last forever, but sorry to the Patriots fans losing Brady, but you get all those Stanley Cup, not Stanley Cup, but Super Bowl rings to shine because it will shine forever. Have a good day. Bye.